channel or if this is your first time welcome so i thought today would be really nice to just kind of go into just a couple things i've been doing to take care of myself because i have been in quite the season um i don't know if it's astrological or you know happenstance but i've been in a place where i really need to be better about taking care of myself but even beyond all that i know that a lot of us can really uh, be better about taking care of ourselves um there's so many things happening in the world so many circumstances are happening in so many people's lives and i also know that like incorporating those things can be like daunting or see seem overwhelming or whatever but okay quick little disclaimer this is not substitute therapy meds etc i am not a licensed professional but these are just a couple gentle habits that i've been implementing for myself that have worked for me personally and i hope that they can help you too okay this first one might seem a little basic to some but for me a nice long shower a hot shower just really does it for me maybe it's because i'm a water sign and i like to be in water or maybe it's just because for so many years i only did the five minute showers to try to be more sustainable but i also know that taking a long hot shower here and there really helps lower my blood pressure relieves muscle tension and overall truly helps me to relax and being the little sustainable baddie that i am i am so excited to partner with the earthling co to bring you this video as you all know i I love a solid bar when it comes to hair and body care and the Earth & Co is a sustainable and plastic free shop that helps create various hair and body care products to help us simplify our little eco routines and I've been using their products for a little while now and they just give me the extra boost that I need. Um, I really like using their citrus sun shampoo and conditioner bars the most not only because they thoroughly clean my hair but I'm really obsessed with the bright notes of orange in it. It just smells so amazing. And then to mention that they're vegan and cruelty free and great for all hair types, including curly, color treated or bleached hair. And they can last up to 50 to 75 washes, which is why I just love Solid Bar so much. And then also for my body, I like to use the Herb Garden Body Wash and I like to rub it onto my loofah that I have here. And the lather is just so good. I mean, it's really good on all of them. Um, it has this really clean and refreshing scent that's also amazing. And all of these bars just leave me feeling so fresh and so clean and are the perfect little detox for me. Okay, so for this next one, I feel like it's something we all know is really beneficial for you and that's movement. Um, and I'm so excited to announce that I'm officially a gym girly now, which is a huge accomplishment for me. Um, but before I jump into that, I feel like it's important to address one of the reasons that movement has been really difficult for me. Um, it's been a thing where like, I just feel like there's so much pressure that the end goal of working out is to look better or like lose weight and which I mean those are nice and fine goals to have and I mean I like looking cute at the gym hence look at this cutie fit I'm putting together ah, I'm so precious um anyway but of course I don't mind like dressing up for the gym it makes me feel empowered to look good I mean hence I love fashion but I feel like there, there's this pressure that like the only way for you to know if you're really exercising properly or not is um with physical results but I feel like really the most important thing is to just fall in love with movement and self because the reality is like if you don't move it you lose it which i am getting older so i don't want that um <laughs> but i've also noticed like a significant difference in my own mental health and my stress level um but yeah for me personally going to the gym has been a great space for me to work out and fall in love with movement more i think it's mainly because the gym that i go to offers like a ton of amazing classes because i love variety i'm still a bit of a newbie so i was too embarrassed to record in class which i think they'd be fine it's a really friendly atmosphere but you know here's some iphone footage but yeah it's been nice to have like a separate place from home to be able to go to and it helps promote like a work-life balance for me especially since i work from home it gives me like a separate place to just like breathe and just be and i really appreciate being able to do so and yeah i'm so proud of myself for finally falling in love with movement and like and i mean look at me your girl's glowing <laughs> but yeah all this leads back to my next point which is all about proper hydration which i mean we all know that drinking more water is good for you but what i don't think is common knowledge is how much you need electrolytes to go with it um i used to be someone who was constantly thirsty and dehydrated even though i drank a ton of water but i learned that electrolytes were my issue um which let me demonstrate with a glass instead of this water bottle so you guys to see what's happening i'm not really a fan of traditional electrolyte drinks or packets because of like that stevia aftertaste it's so gross um but i learned that you can use himalayan or pink salt too because it also helps adding minerals back into your water and it doesn't take much just a gi uh, giant <laughs> a minor crack or a little sprinkle will do 
and it doesn't really change the way the water tastes too much. If anything, it tastes like Arrowhead, minor derogatory, um, but it is really refreshing and it still <laughs> makes me feel really good and hydrated and it shocks me that I'm assuming most people have felt this way and I haven't for so long, but you know, here I am and it's made a huge difference. And you know something that's just as essential as water for our bodies? It's also breathing, which I feel like as I go about my day and I start to get a little stressed from work, um, I realize at some point that I just need to take a step back and breathe because I haven't been breathing. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm smiling right now, but the light inside me is dying. <sighs> and when my inner voice sounds like that, I know it's time to go take a breath. So one of the breathing techniques I like to do is called box breathing, where you close your eyes and breathe in through your nose and count to four slowly. So I'll inhale for one, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. And I'll repeat that for a few times, um, but I got interrupted today by tofu, which, you know, is always an amazing thing to happen. And then I'll go ahead and move on to a grounding exercise I like called 54321, which is like an anxiety grounding technique. Having a kitty also is very grounding. <laughs> But anyway, first I'll start off with five things I can see, which one, I can see my favorite pair of slippers. And then two, I see this camera hanging off the side of my wall. And then three, I see these flowers and the flower petals on the side. Four, I see myself. And five, I see this glass of chia seed pudding that I need to <laughs> wash. And then four are four things I can touch, which one is tofu's fur. Two is the texture of this rug. Three is the texture of my jacket, and four is the overall feeling of sitting on the ground. And then three things I can hear is my dryer cleaning my sheets. Two is the sound of Matt walking around the house. And then three is the sound of me breathing. Um, the second thing is to smell two things, um, and then also to taste one thing, which honestly I don't smell or taste anything right now, but that's really fine. Um, but yeah, those are really great to do, and afterwards I like to reflect on some life lessons I've been learning, which one of those being... It's never that serious. You know what it never was? That serious. It was never that serious. Quite frankly, it would never be that serious. Also, I'm not quite sure what to show y'all during this part of the video, so just enjoy some stock video footage of some cats, you know, because that's always a great thing. <laughs> but anyway, I do think there are people who need to take things more seriously, um, and this is also not something that I've perfected myself, but it has been something I just have been repeating to myself, is that things really aren't as serious as I think them to be. That if I make a mistake or push a deadline or disappoint someone or if I'm not able to save the entire world or if that thing that is the worst fear I can imagine happens, it's not the end of the world and there are things out of my control and that is just perfectly fine. And I think even re the worst things happening happening, I just have this firm belief that everything does work itself out in the end. Um, this doesn't negate me trying my best or doing my best, but just knowing that like all I can ask for is me doing my best and whatever outcome happens, happens. And if it doesn't, you know, it really isn't that serious. So yeah, those are a couple of things that I've been doing for myself. And obviously there's so many other things that I can better incorporate or I have been working on that I didn't share in this video, but feel free to add anything that you're doing to take care of yourself because I would love to learn from you and I'm sure other people would love your advice as well. Leave a couple of things in the comments and yeah, I love you all. Take care of yourselves and I'll talk to you later. Bye.